Hello, I'm continuing my reviews on the Return of the Living Dead series with Return of the Living Dead 3. Now, I have Return of the Living Dead 3 on this DVD set, where it also comes with Return of the Living Dead 4 and 5, and it also comes with the two Reanimator sequels, and it also comes with that remake of Night of the Living Dead that came out a few years ago, the one with Sid Haig in it. Now, Return of the Living Dead 3 is, of course, the third film in the Return of the Living Dead series. Now, the film is directed by Brian Usna. I hope I'm saying his last name right. I'm not sure if I am, though. But he actually worked a lot with Stuart Gordon. He wrote the screenplay for the H.P. Lovecraft adaptation, From Beyond, which was directed by Stuart Gordon. And he also directed the two Reanimator series equals Bride of Reanimator and Beyond Reanimator, and he also co-wrote the film Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, which was also co-written by Stuart Gordon, and he also directed The Dentist and The Dentist 2. Now, the first two films, Return of the Living Dead and Return of the Living Dead Part 2, were very much horror comedies. This film, on the other hand, is... Very, very serious. Like, this film is much more serious in tone than the first two movies were. In fact, tonally, this movie is so radically different from the first two movies that this movie doesn't even feel like it's in the same universe as the first two movies. It doesn't even feel like it's a real Return of the Living Dead sequel. The film really does almost feel like it's a standalone zombie movie that just had the title Return of the Living Dead 3 slapped onto it. But the reason I don't buy that theory is because they do mention 245 Trioc in the movie, and they also kind of reference the events from the first two movie a little bit, but tonally this movie is radically different from the first two movies. The first two were horror comedies, and this film is more of a straight-out horror film, and is also really, really serious. And I know it sounds like that's a criticism, but it's really not, actually. I actually really, really like this movie. And honestly, this might actually be my second favorite in this whole franchise. Second, of course, only to the first one. Now, one thing that I do want to point out about this movie is in this film, they kind of change the rules of the franchise because in the first two movies, the zombies only ate brains, but in this movie, the zombies, like, eat basically every part of the body. Like, the zombies in this movie are more like the zombies you would see in a George Romero movie or something. Like, you see zombies biting people's arms arms and legs in this movie, so the film kind of changes the rules a little bit. Now, the plot of Return of the Living Dead 3 is it follows these two teenagers named Kurt and Julie, who are boyfriend and girlfriend, and what happens is Kurt's father works for the military, and in the beginning of the movie, Kurt and Julie manage to sneak into the military base where Kurt's father works, and and it turns out that the military is actually doing experiments with 245 Trioxin, and Kurt and Julie witness an experiment where they expose this dead body to the chemical, and the dead body, of course, comes back as a zombie. So they get out of there, and later on, Kurt finds out from his father that they have to move, because it turns out that Kurt's father has been reassigned to somewhere else, so Kurt realizes that this means that he would have to leave Julie, so Kurt is, of course, upset about this, and being the typical, like, rebellious teenager, him and Julie end up running away, and 
one thing leads to another, and they end up getting into a motorcycle accident, and Julie, unfortunately, is killed, so Kurt is, of course, grief-stricken over this, so he manages to sneak back into uh, the military base, and he exposes Julie to the 245 trioxin and brings Julie back from the dead. So, when Kurt brings Julie back from the dead, Dead. She, of course, is confused, because really, who wouldn't be? She was literally brought back from the dead. But she starts to get very, very hungry, and soon this hunger turns into a hunger for human flesh, and it turns out that... Once again, like, it kind of goes back to the first two movies where you realize that it's actually painful to be dead. So it turns out the only way to relieve the pain is to eat human flesh. And throughout the movie, Julie is trying to fight her hunger. And she actually starts hurting herself because it turns out that the pain makes the hunger go away. And she's like, starts putting like glass into her arm and you feel so bad for the character of Julie in this movie. Like, you see how this character really does start to deteriorate. Like, her whole life, or should I say death, kind of just becomes a downward spiral, and it really is a really sad movie, and in the movie, Julie is played by Mindy Clark, and Mindy Clark does a really good job as this character, like, you really believe her, and you really do feel genuinely sorry for her, and you also feel sorry for her boyfriend as well, because he's seeing this happen to a person who he really cares about, he sees a person who who he really cares about becoming this monster, pretty much, and it really is a very sad movie. Like, the first two movies were very funny, this one is actually really, really sad, and it's actually a pretty well-acted movie for a low-budget horror film. The film is actually pretty well-acted, and it really is a once again, I really enjoy this film. I think it's a really good sequel. So yeah, Return of the Living Dead 3 is a great movie, in my opinion, and I personally think this is the best sequel to The Return of the Living Dead. So if you haven't seen Return of the Living Dead 3 yet, I highly, highly recommend it. So yeah, what's next in the Return of the Living Dead series? God help us.